like if someone says, I've never gotten angry in my whole life. And then someone's like, whoa, play this game. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to play another free game available on Steam. Um, it is called Edgar Allan Poe, The Oval Portrait. And it is about... I don't even know. It's a it's a fictional story game. Interactive story. Count. So, um... Counting you. We've got sound here as well. New game. Counting you. It's very nice how it says continue. You Counting you. Continue. So, um... Well, we're new just gonna game. start a new game. Because I've never played Choose it Choose game mode. Story mode. Oh. You decide when to unfold the rest of the story. Explore mode. Follow the music to discover locations and push the action forward. Um. Oh, I I don't story know. Mode. I'm I'm over. Ex st ex story mode. You decide when to unfold the rest of the story. Well, we do the explorer. Mode. We're Follow gonna go on an adventure. Put on your headphones, close your eyes, and watch the story in your imagination. Oh, I like Click to that. play. Okay. Well, let's go. I'm curious. Apennine Mountains, Italy, 1838. Sir, I found a trace. This way. Servant Pedro is calling from the right. Press the right arrow on your keyboard to turn right. Here, I'm in front of you, sir. To go forward, press the upper row. I think I can see the path. Close. They're close. Let's find out what they're debating so much. Sir, it's dangerous out there. My dear Pedro, what would the life be without satisfying curiosity with a little adventure? Sir, I strongly insist you not to stray from the path. Stay where you are, Pedro. Be right back. To turn left to the crows, press the left arrow key. To turn left to the crows, oh, press the seen. left arrow key. I can't do anything else. Enter the area in front of you. <laughs> ah, sneaky rogues. Poor Pedro would have nothing to scrape me off the bottom of this abyss. I owe him an apology for my recklessness. I have to carefully step back. To go back, press the down arrow. Is everything all right, sir? Indeed, my friend. And thank you for your concern. Follow Pedro using the arrows. Concern. Oh Here. no, I will not go back to the abyss. This way. Oh, actually, so I want you to listen what you go to. Here. It's on the left now. Oh no, I this will not way. go back to the abyss. It's on the right. Here! I can't go back now. I can't go back now. This way! I can't go back now. I try to go forward. I can't go back now. Here! Oh no, I will not go back to the abyss. This way! It's on the right. Here! <laughs> Did something happen, sir? I... I can hear music. Music? Yes. It's drawing me to something. I don't think I can understand it, sir. Neither do I. But trust me, this time I'm not going to mindlessly risk. Follow the music. If at any point you get lost, press the space bear to hear a help sound and follow it. I can't go back now. I can't go back now. Okay. 
se vuoi, ok? I can't go back now. I'm going to the left and forward. What's my horse doing? Follow the music. If at any point you get lost, press the space bar to hear a help sound and follow it. I don't hear any music. I'm think I think I'm hitting a wall the whole time with my horse. <laughs> no, we're going to the left. No, I think it's on the right. So I just keep going. Let's just get some help. It's on the left. My poor horse! I'm damaging my horse the whole time. So I can only go left or right. And I've only went right. <laughs> Let's go back to the to the right. There. Oh, there we go. Danger? Something more. Oh my gosh. Fate. I need to find the exact gap to go forward. Like, okay, well, I'm not wearing my headphones. Chapter 2, the music. Oh no, I so often. Stones. Careful, Pedro. Our horses are definitely not Pegasi. I hope the trail will Pegasi. be gentler beyond the slope. <laughs> I don't really know what this game is. I just found it on Steam. Yeah, it's a bit weird, but it's interesting. I think I'm not playing it right. <laughs> it's like an audio game, which I didn't know. I just randomly started it. Oh, I found the exit. <laughs> Let us pause for a moment, my friend, and listen to the music of this little creature. Have you ever wondered, dear Pedro, why a bird sings? I think, sir, that he wants to interest the bird maiden in his petite person. Can a bird really want something? Do we create beauty and harmony by the power of our will? 
or do they flow from the nature of the world? Aww. A grove at last. Hmm. It looks like more travelers are using this trail. I wonder, sir, if we can make it to the pass before dusk. Nights can be cold, and there are dangers in the shadow of the mountains. Chapter 3 Bandits not the right way. Well, I already know what happens at the end. It had like good votings, the game. <laughs> I think like my horse has like seven lives. I kill him that often now. There's some wolves somewhere. <laughs> it's suspiciously go. quiet here. The path looks safe. My horse became anxious. Keep your eyes peeled, Pedro. Sir, have you heard? Yes. Keep the dagger close at hand. Go! BT. Don't stop! I'll try to dress the wound. Ah, I'm afraid. I can't go any further. Let's at least try to walk around this mountain in front of us. We must find a shelter from rain and wind. Well, my, my horse survived, of course. <laughs> So hot. You literally have to feel the whole time. Like left, right, straight. Turn to left now. Str straight. No, and left again. Straight. That's on the right. Straight. There's a wall again to the right. Straight. It's more to the right. Straight. What is that? Am I walking to the water or to the wolves? <laughs> oh, I see! I'm confused. Can I get a sound? It sounds like it's in front of us. 
<laughs> Honestly, even if I sit here for hours, I want to know what happens at the end. <laughs> oh my god! I hear like this water splashing. It should be right there. My horse is not making any noises anymore. It had enough. <laughs> horse left the game. <laughs> I'm just going super tiny steps to the right now. And then just start forward. It must be here somewhere. I think it's like the whole game, right? It's like a wall in front of you. It's like one tiny little exit. And you're like a dot walking left and right and have to find the perfect spot to go forward. This is literally the game. Oh my gosh. Come on, just jump. Jump over the wall. You can do it. It's on the left. On the right. I can't go through here. It must be here. It sounds like it's in front of me. <laughs> I can't believe I have pe two people watching this. <laughs> it's total crap. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Like honestly guys, there's nothing happening. <laughs> nothing at all. Alright. In front of me. Oh my gosh, there, there are multiple barricades which I have to go through. That's like, it's getting harder now. I tell you, it's like a maze. I'm literally walking through a maze that I can see. That's insane. Who makes that? <laughs> it's like if someone says, I've never gotten angry in my whole life. And then someone's like, well, play this game. <laughs> yes. We're going through something here. Well, maybe I just think I'm already further. Maybe I'm still at my starting point. <laughs> Is that left or right? Path to the castle. Freaking castle, you must see that already. Way to the right. Just fight through a horse, fight through, you can do it. Oh my gosh, now it's super far away. I'm just like, I can't go backwards either. Like it has to be here. The sun had been set above an hour, while the horizon Thank you. still retained Thank you. somewhat of a oh. saffron brilliance, oh and the whole dome of the sky had an appearance of transparency. I just feel so happy now. Peculiar Gosh. to this enchanting climate, which seemed to diffuse I could a cry. more soothing twilight over the reposing world. In the southeast, the outline of Vesuvius appeared distinct. But the mountain itself was dark and silent. My soul is dark yeah. and silent I'm because afraid. of you. The service is in a different province. Don't worry, Pedro, I haven't lost my mind. I lost my mind. The fever brought me an excerpt from a novel by a great writer. Alright, chapter 4. Path to the castle. Oh, don't tell me. I've got to still walk to the castle. We found it. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Hold on a little longer. Found it. What's happening now? Oh, I still have to work. To work, to walk. <laughs> to walk and to work. <laughs> it's literally work. That's it. No. I tell you, sometimes I just literally press D just once, just tap it just quickly. And then I press W to go forward, and then suddenly I find the exit. Like, it's like that tiny. My fever had there been excessive go. and of long duration. Oh All the remedies attainable in this wild Apennine region had been exhausted to no purpose. My valet and sole attendant in the lonely chateau was too nervous and too grossly unskillful to venture upon letting blood of which indeed I had already lost too much in the affray with the banditti, 
neither could I safely permit him to leave me in search of assistance. Chapter 5 Courtyard Hey! Is anyone here? We need help! No, he's no one. Travelers in need. We have no hostile intentions. No. Sir, it looks like no one's here. The buildings are well kept. Probably the owners have recently left. Nice artwork though. Oh, after work. There's no one. <laughs> I can't help you. And straight. Mmm, they're getting better. Like at the end, I wish they would show us all the maps we walked through. Like how exactly they look like. That would be sick. Going forward, there's a wall again. And again to the right, a little bit more, and straight. Hey, tiny little bit to the right, just a tiny bit, and straight, still straight. A little tiny bit to the right again, and straight. It's always to the right and then straight. I feel like I'm doing the same again and again. <laughs> Help! Man, that's a big courtyard. To my right and then straight then to my right and straight man that's a big level oh that's far to the right but it does change a little bit more to the right and straight again to the right and after feeling I'm doing the same again and again please don't tell me I'm walking in a circle oh my god it's again now it was a little bit to the left it does change yeah, it changes it's to the left now. <laughs> that reassures me a lot. To the right again. And straight. I can't believe you're still watching this. You have my fullest respects, like honestly. <laughs> Come on. What's that? Courtyard? How long is this level? It's probably the end boss. <laughs> I should have maybe done story mode, hey. <laughs> oh, here I am, the big explorer. Having fun exploring the game <laughs> that I can't even see. <laughs> Sitting there on my blind horse. You're right, exploring a game you can't even see is legendary. Who can say that about themselves, right? Come on. You must have nearly made it one hour later. I don't even know if that's worth uploading on YouTube. Like that's 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 just insane. Like who would watch that? Like honestly. Left and straight. Can I please see this level? I, I really, I really, really want to see that. Like how long it is. And like how big the map is. Like that's. That's crazy. Who even thought that would be fun? Who, who programs this game and thinks that would be super fun? Unbelievable. That's like torture. Yeah, when you have like kids and you had enough of them always want to play a computer, then you just turn on this game and say, well, if you want to play, and play this. <laughs> and then they're gonna start crying like, we want to do the dishes now. Please, we don't want to play. No, you sit there and you keep playing. No. Yes, right. Left again straight sometimes no I can't, can't even tell when I just hear one time the sound I can already tell like how far I go left or right and then straight again it's crazy like you your brain kind of adapts it's really crazy you won't leave that's really reassuring <laughs> so I don't have to go through all this alone we suffer together I like that my king court has even be that big I'm not sure if I'm even in the courtyard still. 
I might have traveled through five continents already. I traveled that far. I might come back to my original spot because, you know, I crossed the world one time. I'm coming back on the other side. The creator thought like, hmm. Well, let's create the level infinity. <laughs> let's see how long they keep going until they exit the game. <laughs> it's like it's like the test of society, right? The test of people. Like it's an experiment. Like how long would someone actually go until they quit? You know, like they want to test your will and your strength. I think that's what it is. Can already feel the breeze, the exit. I feel it. The close. Maybe it's just a breeze of hope. Oh shoot! I forgot something at the beginning of the level. <laughs> Let's go back. Yeah, I I forgot my willpower somewhere there. I dropped it midway. I've gotta find it. I've seen that violet background for such a long time. Like I already start seeing figures in there. Like this thing here at front. It looks like you know, like a mouse. Like it has an ear there at the top, and then there's a little nose. And it has an open mouth and screaming. And there's this back leg, and it has a big wing. Kind of like a mix of a mouse and a bat. And its tail is hanging down as well. And it's spewing. See, like the little, the little wave coming out of the mouth. It's spewing because I had enough of this level. That's what I see. That's it's a joke from the developers of the game. Yeah, that they put this picture out that resembles you, the player. So I feel like I don't want to give up. I've come so far. <laughs> what if the X is right in front of me? My god. I have no words. It's getting more and more ridiculous. Who does that? Like just on a, on a bare human level. Alright, from human to human. Who does that? It wants me to go straight. Like the sun is right in the middle. Don't feel pressured to, to stay here, I tell you. You can leave any time. Do I have different noises? Or am I imagining things now? Did I go completely insane? I think I'm gonna dream tonight of these sounds. Well, the end has to come now. Like, it's getting ridiculous. Maybe the game hangs. And I'm playing here for hours. I'm gonna go all the way to the left now. I'm going left now, even though it's straight. I don't know if it changes anything. I can't go left. Oh, I'm you hear that? I can't go neither left or right right now. Like, I have to go straight. It's like a tunnel. And now, yeah, I'm at the end of the tunnel. I have to go left. Quick 30 minute game, they said. You should play it, they said. It will be fun. It'll be an experience. Oh, What did I get myself into? It doesn't go. Like, that's insane. I've been here how long? I didn't even stop the time, like, that must be hours, years, centuries. Well, I think I came to the conclusion that this is unbeatable. I've been walking for literally hours through the courtyard. There's no exit. No, like honestly, my hopes, they're gone. With every, with every little beep of the music, my hopes get tinier and tinier. I have the feeling when I hear someone riding on a horse and I hear this, you know, this horse steps, I'll get ag aggressive. I'll, I'll get really aggressive. <laughs> oh, 
I'm so upset now. They said it has a very nice ending. Maybe that's what I meant. Maybe it was a it was a joke. Maybe they're triggering people playing this game, waiting for the nice ending, and actually it had no ending. It's literally like getting stuck in the middle of nowhere. Literally. Well, it could be the end of the nowhere or the beginning of the nowhere. You will never know. You don't know where you are. But it's a nowhere, that's sure. Nah, I can't believe this game is meant to go for that long. Like, no way. No way, no one would ever do that to anyone. That's sadistic. It is. I cannot believe that this is true. Yeah, nah. Let me, let's check here, what, what's that? Um, can, said, get, choose can I game change? Mode. Story mode. You decide when to unfold the rest of the story. Hold on to me, sir. I'll get you your horse. Bye. Wait here, sir. I'll be back in a moment. In a moment? Well, that means years if he's going through the courtyard. Please lean on me. We need to get to the door. No, 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 no. Do you want me to go through it? What the devil's face is that? Sir. It's just your reflection in the mirror of the well. Nonsense. He's emerging from the fires of hell. Looking at me. He's alive! Please, sir, let's go. It's just the water taking on the color of the setting sun. We are already at the door. You will rest in a moment. Damn! It's locked. Sir, hold on to that railing. I have to use the pick lock. The chateau into which Pedro had ventured to make forcible entrance, rather than permit me, in my desperately wounded condition, to pass a night in the open air, was one of those piles of commingled gloom and grandeur which have so long frowned among the Apennines, not less in fact than in the fancy of Mrs. Radcliffe. To all appearance it had been temporarily and very lately abandoned. Chapter 6 The Turret Whatever that is We established ourselves in one of the smallest and least sumptuously furnished apartments. It lay in a remote turret of the building. Its decorations were rich, yet tattered and antique. Its walls were hung with tapestry and bedecked with manifold and multiform armorial trophies, together with an unusually great number of very spirited modern paintings in frames of rich gold and arabesque. Chapter 7 The Chamber In these paintings, which depended from the walls not only in their main surfaces, but in very many nooks which the bizarre architecture of the chateau endured necessary, 
In these paintings, my incipient delirium perhaps had caused me to take deep interest. Mm. And that's the title of the game, the oval painting. So what'll happen? Let's have a look. Wow, it's beautiful in here. So that I bade Pedro to close the heavy shutters of the room, since it was already night, to light the tongues of a tall candelabrum, which stood by the head of my bed, and to throw open far and wide the fringed curtains of black velvet, which enveloped the bed itself. I don't know if the walking levels are just easier or if it just completely changed because I changed the mode. I wished all this done that I might resign myself, if not to sleep, at least alternately to the contemplation of these pictures and the perusal of a small volume which had been found upon the pillow and which purported to criticize and describe them. Chapter 8. The Volume Oh, do you hear the noise? There's another player. He's just stuck in the in the courtyard level. You fall asleep. I need to walk quietly so as not to wake Pedro. Go to the left. Long, long I read. And devoutly, devotedly I gazed. Rapidly and gloriously the hours flew by, and the deep midnight came. The position of the candelabrum displeased me, and outreaching my hand with difficulty, rather than disturb my slumbering valley, I placed it so as to throw its rays more fully upon the book. But the action produced an effect altogether unanticipated. The rays of the numerous candles, for there were many, now fell within a niche of the room, which had hitherto been thrown into deep shade by one of the bedposts. I thus saw in vivid light a picture all unnoticed before. It was the portrait of a young girl just ripening into womanhood. I glanced at the painting hurriedly and then closed my eyes. Why I did this was not at first apparent even to my own perception. But while my lids remained thus shut, I ran over in my mind my reason for so shutting them. It was an impulsive movement to gain time for thought, to make sure that my vision had not deceived me, to calm and subdue my fancy for a more sober and more certain gaze. In a very few moments I again looked fixedly at the painting. That I now saw a right I could not and would not doubt, for the first flashing of the candles upon that canvas had seemed to dissipate the dreamy stupor which was stealing over my senses, and to startle me at once into waking life. Keep going. <laughs> the portrait, I have already said, was that of a young girl. It was a mere head and shoulders, done in what is technically termed as vignette manner, much in the style of the favorite heads of Sally. The arms, the bosom, and even the ends of the radiant hair melted imperceptibly into the vague yet deep shadow which formed the background of the hall. The frame was oval, richly gilded, and filigreed in moresque. As a thing of art, nothing could be more admirable than the painting itself, but it could have been neither the execution of the work, nor the immortal beauty of the countenance, which had so suddenly and so vehemently moved me. Yeah, the end. 
the whole game is just about a guy looking at the picture. <laughs> no, let's go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Least of all, could it have been that my fancy, shaken from its half slumber, had mistaken the head for that of a living person? I saw at once that the peculiarities of the design, of the vignetting and of the frame must have instantly dispelled such idea, must have prevented even its momentary entertainment. Thinking earnestly upon these points, I remained for an hour perhaps, half sitting, half reclining, with my vision riveted upon the portrait. At oh, length, like me in the satisfied level. with the true secret of its effect, I fell back within the bed. I had found the spell of the picture in an absolute lifelikeliness of expression, which at first startling, finally confounded, subdued and appealed me. With deep and reverent awe I replaced the candelabrum in its former position. The cause of my deep agitation being thus shot from view, I sought eagerly the volume which discussed the paintings and their histories. Turning to the number which designated the oval portrait, I there read the vague and quaint words which follow. Chapter 10 Maiden and the Artist She was a maiden of rarest beauty and not more lovely than full of glee. And evil was the hour when she saw and loved and wedded the painter. So the, the girl on the painting married the painter. He, passionate, studious, austere, and having already a bride in his art, he a maiden of rarest beauty and not more lovely than full of glee, all light and smiles and frolic as the young foam, loving and cherishing all things. Oh, he really likes that painting. He's obsessed. Hating only the art which was her rival, dreading only the palette and brushes and other untoward instruments which deprived her of the countenance of her lover. It was thus a terrible thing for this lady to hear the painter speak of his desire to portray even his young bride. But she was humble and obedient and sat meekly for many weeks in the dark, high turret chamber where the light dripped upon the pale canvas, only from overhead. I don't... She didn't want him to paint. But he, the painter, took glory in his work, which went on from hour to hour and from day to day, and he was a passionate and wild and moody man who became lost in reveries, so that he would not see that the light which fell so ghastly in that lone turret withered the health and the spirits of his bride, who pined visibly to all but him. What? So she sat there for such a long time? He painted her? for such a long time? Without a break? Can please someone translate that? <laughs> what happened? Yet okay. she smiled on and still on uncomplainingly because she saw that the painter who had high renown took a fervid and burning pleasure in his task and rode day and night to depict her who so loved him yet who grew daily more dispirited and weak and in thought, some who beheld the portrait spoke of its resemblance in low words, as of a mighty marvel and the proof not less of the power of the painter than of his deep love for her whom he depicted so surpassingly well. But at length, as the labor drew nearer to its conclusion, 
there were admitted none into the turret, for the painter had grown wild with the ardor of his work and turned his eyes from canvas merely even to regard the countenance of his wife. And he would not see that the tints which he spread upon the canvas were drawn from the cheeks of her who sat beside him. Weeks bed passed, and but little remained to do, save one brush upon the mouth and one tint upon the eye. The spirit of the lady again flickered up, as the flame was in the socket of the lamp. Life in death. So he painted from her? And then the brush was given, and then the tint was placed, and, for one moment, the painter stood entranced before the work which he had wrought. He did he paint the picture from her? But in the next, while he had gazed, he grew tremulous and very pallid, and aghast and crying with a loud voice, This is indeed life itself, turned suddenly to regard his beloved. She was dead. Du -du -du. So what happened? So he painted his wife and he painted for days and days without stopping and she was sitting there for days and days getting painted. She did not move and then he started painting his picture of her? Like, is that what he said? Like, he put his brush on her lips and then he painted the lips and so on. And then she died. Or she starved or whatever. And then he had this perfect painting that he created. That's what I took out of that. But I don't know if that's right. And why did we ride around the, the forest before? Like, what did that have to do with the painting? Why did we go through all this... Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I will never get that back. That's an hour of my life I'll never get back. <laughs> well, that's the risk, you know, you go through when you when you play free games on Steam. And you, know, you never know what expects you, right? It could be like five minutes quick game, which is absolutely awesome. Or it could be another awesome game, which can turn out a little bit frustrating. But it was beautiful artwork, beautiful music, the story itself, very nice. Um, but I would not play it again. <laughs> Let me say it like that. <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you so much for watching. 
Um, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna upload this on YouTube, but I will. I will have a look. Maybe I. I'll just cut it down a little bit. <laughs> just get the good parts out, not the ones where where I suffocate my horse over and over again. <laughs> and yeah, well, have a beautiful night. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Quit. Quit. Let's quit the game. <laughs>